The Leeds Union Workhouse, Improving Lives for the Working Class The Industrial Revolution during the Victorian period had huge ramifications for large cities such as Leeds. Factories and mills sprung up in these cities and it was down to the approximately 90% of the population, the working class, who had to fill these jobs. Alongside this, those who were unable or unwilling to work were provided with the workhouses in an attempt by the government to prevent idleness within the working class. The most successful of these workhouses in Leeds were the Hunslet Workhouse and the Leeds Union Workhouse, built in 1861. Although workhouses were initially feared by the working class, as they would have to accept pauperism, it became apparent to many that the Leeds Union Workhouse was a better alternative than trying to survive on the streets of Leeds. Those outside the Leeds Union Workhouse, no matter what age, were pushed to their limits under the back-breaking labour forced upon them in factories and mills. Disease and death was prevalent among the overcrowded city of Leeds, with poor hygiene being one of the main contributors. The majority of the working class could not afford to pay for treatment and could only ask a priest to help them. Meanwhile, residents of the Leeds Union Workhouse did not have to worry about their working conditions or their health. Residents of the Leeds Union Workhouse were given jobs appropriate to their age and capability, and the built-in general infirmary ensured their health remained stable. The successes in medical advancement in the facility led to the workhouse becoming the biggest working class hospital within Leeds. The success of the Leeds Union Workhouse and its infirmary revolutionised the majority of the working class lives and went on to become part of the St James University Hospital that we know today in Leeds. For more information about living in Victorian Leeds and within the Leeds Union Workhouse, visit the Thacker Medical Museum.